Also built during World War II was Colossus, the first stored program computer. This computer was built to break the German high command Lorenz cipher, which is more complicated than the Enigma, but required equipment that was harder to conveniently fit in a field tent or inside a submarine as Enigma was used. Breaking Lorenz required building a computer out of vacuum tube technology that did statistical analysis of radio intercepts. Vacuum tubes were used in those days the way we would use transistors now to make a computer. This photo of the front side of Colossus shows some accumulators, so the horizontal white modules are counters, and they're counting up the statistical information inside the message, and eventually this was broken using statistics not all that different than what we applied to the Caesar cipher. But because the scrambling was highly effective, it required a lot of trial and error and a lot of processing to try and decide which letters were going to which other letters. Inside the machine is a mass of wires and some vacuum tubes, and you can see the size of this machine. It's considerably taller than I am, and it occupies an entire room. By the way, if you're interested in these types of machines and cryptography in general, I highly recommend going to Bletchley Park if you happen to be visiting London and have an extra day. Take the train up to Bletchley Park, see both the Bletchley Park Museum and also the Next Door Computer Museum, and you'll get to see the Enigma machine in the first one and Colossus in the second one.